At the beginning of each school year, we practiced all the emergency drills. But last week, when we were put under lockdown, many students who weren't in classrooms simply didn't know how to react. So let's say, for instance, the active shooter thing goes off. All right? Let's say that you're on the crosswalk between Norclay and the main building, the Nor Norclay and this campus, right? We don't want you to go inside a building, we want you to get out. You know? So that's what the first things that they teach you is, is that if you're in a hallway by a door, uh, don't go into a classroom where you just box yourself in now. Get away from the building. Get as far away from the building as you can. So if you're in a hallway and you know that there's an active shooter someplace close, what you would do is you would jump into the first classroom. For many, this raises alarm for whether our school is appropriately prepared for an active shooter. You know, we have you know two police officers. We have one uh, sheriff's deputy with the Clay County Sheriff's Department. We also have a police officer with the North Kansas City Police Department that are on campus. And we have campus supervisors. Um, all of our staff at the beginning of the school year uh, went through a training on um, lockdown procedures uh, with a company called Stratagos. Uh, you know, so they've been able to look at our campus, look at our buildings, and given us um, you know, the proper training on what we would need to do in a situation to where we would need to protect our kids. Fortunately, what happened last week were false alarms. Um, on Tuesday, they were going trying to move the phone, and in the process of picking up the phone, the person grabbed it from the side, and their finger hit the phone. Remember that when the alarm goes off, we must treat it seriously in order to keep everyone safe.